Good morning children. In this video today, I am going to deal with Resources and Development, Chapter 1, Geography Class 10, Part 3. We are going to deal with the topics Resource Planning and Conservation of Resources. Now what is Resource Planning? We know that resources are widely distributed over the earth. In the previous video also we studied about the problems that were created due to the reckless uh, use of resources and so many other problems. So this calls for resource planning. Now what is resource planning? It is the widely accepted strategy for the judicious use of resources, wise use of resources and it has been accepted far and wide. It is very very important because as resources are distributed unevenly over space so equitable distribution of resources should be there. This is very very important. It is also essential for the sustainable existence of all forms of life. So for a better quality of life, for global peace etc, peace in the country, resource planning is very important. In a country like India, importance of resource planning is immense because the resources are not available everywhere equally. India is a pretty large country, we all know that. And there is great uneven distribution of resources. So let us see the various points. The first is, there is enormous diversity in the availability of resources. There are regions which are rich in a particular type of resource but deficient in some other resources. A region can be very rich in one kind of resource but it may have very little of some other resource. This makes resource planning very very important so that there is equitable distribution of resources. We can understand this better with the help of certain examples. First, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. They are rich in mineral deposits. They are part of the Chota Nagpur Plateau, which is called as the storehouse of minerals. And therefore, they have rich deposits of minerals. Rajasthan is very rich in solar energy, but it lacks in water resources. There is great scarcity of water. Ladakh has very rich cultural heritage, but is deficient in water infrastructure and some other vital minerals and there are other examples also if we care to look which covers the entire country which makes resource planning very very important there's a planned use of resources so all this calls for balanced resource planning in the national state regional and local levels Next is resource planning in India or the steps of resource planning. How resource planning can be done? There are three major steps or important steps regarding how resource planning can be done and how resource planning is being done in India. The first step is identification and inventory of resources which involves surveying mapping of the resources. That means you know your resources, you, you should know where your resources are, what is the quantity, what is the quality of the resource and where it lies. The second point is or the second step is evolving a planned structure which involves technology and institutional setup with skills. When you know your resources, you should access them. And how to access and develop your resources with the technology which is available and the institutional setup. Third step is matching the resource development with national development. There should be a coordination between resource development and national development plans. It's not that one goes in one direction and the other in the other. There should be a perfect match. Now resource development depends upon certain things. Which are these things? First is availability of resources which is the most important thing. In order 
to develop an area or resources availability of resources is a must more uh, resources are available the better developed the country might be why i'm saying might be because along with it the second point technological development is equally important in the world we see there are many countries which do not have a very strong resource base but because of their technological skills they are in the category of developed countries so technological technological development is a very important aspect next is the quality of human resources that also plays a big role in resource development and subsequently the development of that area what kind of population is it is it a skilled population is it an unskilled population depending upon that and the fourth point is historical experiences of the people how in the past they have been using the resources so they are more apt at utilizing resources which they have available with them now our next topic very important conservation of resources the way we have been using resources that, that means the human beings have been re using resources it is very very important that conservation of resources should be done what do we understand by conservation conservation means judicious use of resources avoiding wastage and overuse conservation does not mean you just stop using resources conservation means you use resources but you do not waste resources and you do not overuse the resources a most judicious and wise use of resources what is the importance of conservation of resources the first point says irrational consumption and overutilization leads to socio economic and environmental problems this also we saw in the previous video a great rift or a great expanse between the rich and the poor the haves and the have nots environmental problems are originating like global warming ozone layer depletion water air land pollution all kinds of pollution are occurring in the environment so conservation of resources can overcome these problems so to overcome these problems conservation of resources is essential at all level now gandhi ji said there is enough for everybody's need but not for anybody's greed we have sufficient the nature has provided us with sufficient resources to fulfill our needs but if people are greedy they want more and more they are insatiable they can never be satisfied so that will lead to a lot of wastage of resources and the last point is resources are finite they are limited and we have seen there are non renewable resources as well which may take millions of years to reform and so conservation of such non renewable resources it is all the more important so we should conserve our resources we should use our resources judiciously we should leave sufficient resources for the future generation and we should take care of our environment thank you